crock pot. I think we all have sort of a favorite roast recipe that's maybe been passed down or if you're like me you just sort of throw things in the crock pot and hope it turns out good and it usually does. But I wanted something different that was really unique that didn't use a lot of uh, canned soups or like packets of soup mix. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just wanted something different that was going to be really flavorful and very unique. And I found it on the Pinterest. It has, hold on, coffee, red wine, soy sauce. What's this here sauce? You know what I'm saying. Garlic. Uh, it does have a low sodium gravy packet in it. Some cornstarch to thicken it up, the salt, pepper, the, all those usual things. And then I'm going to throw in some potatoes, baby carrots, and an onion. The recipes that I was looking at all included mushrooms, but I didn't want to do mushrooms. So I'm going to do it my way instead. So here we go. All right, I have my ingredients laid out here. The roast that I have is only two and a half pounds. Most of the recipes I found were for like three, four, even a five pound roast. So I'm gonna downsize some of these amounts. And again, I'm cooking for two people, but I'll put the full recipe down below. It calls for a packet of the low sodium brown gravy mix. It actually calls for four packets of this. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that's, that's like way too much. I have my mixture whisked together here. In here is one packet of the reduced sodium brown gravy mix. A tablespoon of cornstarch, six ounces each of a cup of brewed coffee and red wine, a quarter cup of reduced sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire, and a heaping tablespoon of chopped garlic and a pinch of black pepper. I have my roast here in the crock pot. I know some people prefer to sear their roast first on the stove. I don't have that kind of time or energy. So, on top of the roast, I'm gonna dump in, I have two medium potatoes that I've just chopped up, an onion that's chopped, and two cups of baby carrots. And we're just going to pour this mixture over the top. And we're gonna cook this on low for eight hours. Okay, we're gonna do a little taste test. I've got a carrot. Let's see. This is why I wear black shirts. I just dripped gravy all down the front of me. That carrot's really good. Let's get a little piece of meat here. I got meat and a potato. Let's see. There's meat on there. This is kind of under the potato. I just dripped gravy all over myself again. Mmm. Whoopsie. <laughs> I would make this again for sure. It's a win. Two thumbs up. I can only give one because my other hand's on the camera, but I'll put the recipe down below. Let me know if you give it a try. Okay, we're doing the husband taste test. Tell me how this pot roast is. How was it? Would you have a potato? Mm hmm. Okay. The meat? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And a carrot. All right. How's my fruit? No, really. Do you like it? Mm hmm. Does it taste different than other pot roasts? Yeah. Is there like something unique about it? Yes. You know why? Because I made it. 